So when we think about getting a new phone, a laptop, some other portable device, uh, we really focus on the device itself, not necessarily the battery. However, the lithium batteries in those devices can pose a big risk. Consumer investigator Steve Sprasia digging deeper into why the batteries can be a dangerous under certain conditions. Lithium batteries. They're powerful and convenient, running everything from power tools to cell phones to your shaver. But these batteries can be dangerous, needing special care when handling or recharging. And you can't just toss them into any old recycling bin. This is a lithium battery undergoing what experts call thermal runaway, where it starts to combust, creating a fire which is almost impossible to extinguish. Once a lithium-ion battery gets overheated, it's emitting off gases that are flammable, it's emitting other other materials in that all catch on fire and it basically creates a, a um, kind of a runaway. Damaging or dropping a lithium battery can cause a heat reaction, as can leaving it in the sun or keeping it on a charging device well after it is fully charged. Charge these kind of batteries in what's called a lipo safe bag. These are fire resistant bags uh, that, that you can charge them in and that way if something were to happen, you at least minimize the potential for there to be uh, a fire that can cause significant damage to your home. I found lipo bags online at prices of $30 or less. What do you need to do to safely dispose of a lithium battery? Never ever dispose of them in your landfill, in the, the, the bin that goes to landfill or the recycling bin. Brian Staley says about two fires a week caused by lithium batteries break out at recycling centers around the country. There are no nationwide statistics available for lithium battery home fires like this one caught by a security camera. Most batteries fail in the home in, in large part because of uh, charging issues. To prevent those kinds of fires, disconnect the battery from the charger once charging completes. Use the charger that came with the battery and keep it away from sources of heat. And when these batteries are expired, you need to cover the electrical contacts like this. That way, you can prevent a short circuit, which can cause a fire. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprasia.